So this reduce function will be running for three times. So I have given a step one, a step two, and a step three. So for the step one, the current value is going to be one. So we can keep one here. Previous value is nothing but this empty array. Okay, so we can just use it here, empty array. Now expression is this, right? So expression is this. So the current value is one. And what is the previous value? So previous value is empty array. Your previous value after expression gets evaluated will be this. Now for the second iteration, the current value will be two. Previous value will be now one. Okay. And expression will be like this. This is your current value. And so it will be one, right? Uh, this one. So after evaluation, your array will look like two comma one. Okay. Now if you come to a state three where current value will be three, previous value is this two comma one. So array with two comma one. Now how your expression will look like. So this will be your current value and previous value is two comma one. Your new array will look like three comma two comma one. And that is what you are getting in the answer, right?